Hello everyone, I'm Jess Wan from Chelsea College of Arts, studying MA Curating and Collection. My curatorial thinking evolves around an inclusive and interdisciplinary approach to exhibition making. Since the pandemic, the projects I have curated have been focused on mixed reality, merging the real and virtual world to engage viewers in interactive and innovative ways. My UAF Graduate Showcase is a series of exhibitions I have worked on over my MA study, which emphasize a practice-led approach. The curatorial inspiration comes from thinking, how do we creatively respond to the evolving identities and cultural values in contemporary society? The pandemic has fast-tracked the progress of digitalization, for example, remote learning and online exhibitions. This brings attention to issues around data privacy and online disinformation. For curators, new technology is a challenge and an opportunity because it profoundly changes our understanding of temporality and participation in future exhibitions. One of the things I focus on is to find ways for audience to experience liveness and togetherness and build a community in virtual spaces despite being scattered around the globe. My MA study has been a valuable time to engage with academic and intellectual debate I've learned that creative actions and critical reflection can help us to think differently about our relationship to the challenges we face. I have particularly enjoyed the diversity among students and learning through combining practices with theories. Hello, I'm Maria Figueroa Andrade and I am classmate of the MA Curating and Collections course this year, for the final show of the MA, our exhibition, Reverberations, a response to the Her Noise Archive, deals with an archive that gathers materials from interviews to artworks related to sound and noise in relation to gender. It's a collection of radio shows, screenings, as well as online curated rooms in form of newsletters. I presented in the Graduate Showcase the side project that I have back home with other four artists called Leap Magazine and it's a project that is trying to help and support emerging artists from my hometown of Porto of Portugal. Uh, the course really gave me the tools and the inspiration to make the project even bigger and expand it to hopefully help even more artists. Um, this year the course was online with this last two very intense weeks of setting up the exhibition from the radio show to the setting up of the screenings. The best part was to expand the knowledge with the diversity of other curators that are in the course. The best part for me were the classmates and though we all have the same passion for the same thing, how different perspectives really make your own perspective rich for the future, as well as the workshops to prepare us for the future and the lectures and seminars to expand our conceptual ideas for the exhibition. But my favorite part will always be setting up an exhibition, which I hope to do more in the future. Hi, I'm Jadrin, one of the students of Curating and the Collections and I'm honored to be here. This is beautiful campus. Because like before I entered the class, I was a chemistry student from the undergrad uh, program like in America. Um, I really like art. I also study Italian. That's why I switched my direction from chemistry to art history. Now I'm doing the curating. It's a huge shift. But this course actually gave me the confidence to pursue the path I really wanted to pursue. As part of the final project called Reverberation, a response to Hanoi's archive, which is our final curating project, we are able to create a radio show series at the Chelsea space. The main purpose of our doing this show is to reactive the Hanoi's archive and to include more marginalized artists, trying to include non-binary voices to bring more marginalized artists to the public. So the course really helped me to have a professional attitude and confidence because I know the curating is not about only about handling the art pieces, it involves writing skills, it involves communication skills, it even use a lot of negotiation skills with many parties. You have to communicate with the, the gallery spaces, you have to communicate with artists, and you also need to communicate with your co-workers to actually constructing the same for the whole exhibitions and make the, all the force together to one direction. 
the most thing I learned through this course is just do it, not hesitating or like planning so many things before you actually make things happen.